Residents in the low rainfall Mallee region can manage their input costs and risk by zoning their soil types, determining what inputs are required in different zones and fertilising accordingly. This is particularly relevant following dry or drought years where nutrients may be left behind, meaning a reduced need for replacement. In years with good soil moisture and rainfall, zoning can boost opportunities for higher yields. Mallee Sustainable Farming is involved in the South Australian Drought Hub as a Farming Systems Group partner and we also have a project uh, happening across the district in South Australia this year. This project is addressing uh, a key uh, knowledge gap that farmers had around zoning and precision agriculture. We know that Mallee soils are really um, conducive to having precision agriculture as a method of um, applying nutrients because they're so variable. And this project's really about upskilling farmers, getting them started with zoning and then implementing variable rate precision ag techniques as a result. So we have three main farmer groups within the South Australian Mallee region involved in the project. We've got a group at Pinaroo, one at Lowbank uh, with um, the Wakery farmers and also the Murray Plains farmers um, are involved in the project as well. Uh, we've done a fair bit of work with Trengove Consulting with phosphorus responses in terms of zones and picking out responsive parts and non-responsive parts. So very much extending that to the Mallee region, which is exciting. Um, and yeah, in front of three nitrogen trials on three very different soil types in a small spatial um, area is, is yeah, quite exciting. So obviously these soil types hold um, different nitrogen or behave differently in terms of nitrogen requirements and crop production. So uh, yeah, looking at their requirements across a paddock zone and of course the, the lead into, into precision um, application of nitrogen where it actually is needed. This project endeavours to help inform grower decisions, but obviously fertiliser and um, phosphorus up front we know is important. So not necessarily here, we've got ample phosphorus here, but in the other locations we're picking out responsive zones, which is good. So we can actually identify that to the grower Hopefully over a couple of years and a couple of different seasons we can get a, a package to the grower to say right this is where your most value, value for money in terms of nitrogen fertiliser and phosphorus up front is going to be across your paddock. The South Australian Drought Hub is important to me and my neighbours to help us make better informed decisions when we have some seasonal challenges. So this project um, led by Mallee Sustainable Farming is important to our farming business as it um, helps us make better decisions on managing our soil types the best we can. Paddocks are bigger these days and um, we've got multiple soil types in, in one paddock so yeah, we need to get the best bang for our buck with um, nutrient application and yeah, their work is definitely helping with that. In 2023, six focus farms, two each in the Murray Plains, Pinaroo and Lowbank areas, so paddock scale fertiliser strips across soil types to monitor yields. These demonstration sites will show other growers how to manage their own investigation of nutrition requirements when setting up variable rate technology for soil zones and fertiliser recommendations. Several other growers have zoned their paddocks with MSF supporting basic strip trials and soil sampling to help determine optimal fertiliser application rates across different zones.